I'm going to ask our panelists, Torsten and Edson, led by Juliet Walkington, our content director, to come up and join us and talk a little bit about how they use macro trends and consumer insight to develop and market their brands. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And I hope that you found that, that presentation um, interesting. What we thought, as Susanna said, was that it might be very useful for you to almost see the conversation and the dialogue in terms of the way that um, creatives who work with us right now actually take that information and start to make it come alive in their businesses. And we have a, an interesting panel today. Um, Susanna is joining us as a CMO, ex-CMO of a FTSE um, 100 company. So really going to look at it from a, a marketing and communications point of view, as you'll have seen from <coughs> the way that she's presenting the material a few minutes ago. Um, Torsten, absolutely, from a, a big global brand, Torsten has a, a team of 150 designers around the world who um, are working with him. And then Edson from a, a, a very directional, creative business um, based in Brazil, who is really pushing the barriers out. So I hope that you get um, a, a sense of the, the stretch that can be used when people start to take trended information and um, roll it through their business a little bit. So with that, I'd, I'd like to kick off with Torsten and ask, um, Last night we were having a discussion about all of this, of course, as you do when you're doing panels. You want to meet and greet over food and share some ideas first. Um, and you were saying that at Adidas, everyone wants the information very quickly and that you're constantly being asked by communications, by marketing, by design to, to hear what the next idea is going to be. So could you explain to us um, what, how you actually communicate trended information into the business and how, that, how does that process work? Sure. Um, obviously, the process, and you've mentioned earlier, um, it's about 150 designers for, for Adidas globally. Uh, they all are based in different uh, locations and cities uh, in the world. Uh, they would go out and basically do uh, trend research themselves, also sometimes uh, very subjectively, and we welcome that. Um, uh, we gather all that information uh, and basically we share it with the teams, but beyond that, uh, we also do tab into various trend information from trend agencies, uh, one of it being uh, WGSN, certainly. And um, it's, it's very important for us to, to uh, before every season, to gather everything and then put it together in a, a color and trend direction that we consolidate, where we consolidate all the information that is coming back from the designers um, as, a, as a sort of an, an overall presentation uh, to, to all the teams internally. Mm -hmm. And in reality, that's sort of the first step where we do share the information that we find from a trend perspective with um, our peer departments, such as marketing, such as communication, as well as development. So they're actually seeing mood boards and concept boards at the very beginning. You, you bring them on that journey that early on in the process? Absolutely. It's, it's being brought in very, very early. Um, and that's really at the, at the very kickoff, at the very start for every season. We do share the trends that we believe are there, but also that we believe are important for the brand and make sense from a brand DNA perspective. And, um, and in terms of the next step beyond that, they've seen the information, they're making their business decisions as to what is actually going to be carried through into the business or not. Mm -hmm. um, do you go through a briefing? period, how does that actually manifest itself within the business at That's that right. point? That's and, right, and therefore uh, the, the, the overall color and trend presentation that we uh, uh, um, collect, uh, we would then work also into the creative direction, into the overall creative direction for the brand, and the better from a design perspective we explain of what we believe is going to be key for the coming season, uh, the more it will trickle down into the communications teams, yeah. into the marketing teams that then would pick up that information and also that the stories uh, that we come up with. Um, um, and re it's, it's being reflected in the briefs. So uh, we know from a design perspective, we've done a good job if, if the key information, the key stories are being reflective in, reflected in the briefs that we receive from the marketing end. And how often do you actually see that sense of connect connectivity happening from where you started in terms of your concept to where 
the, the marketing briefs per, perhaps are starting to, to well, hit luckily the agencies. It, it, it happens often, yeah. but you can imagine it's a very uh, controversial discussion sure. oftentimes, and uh, with design we always try to <laughs> be at the edge with the brand and to push towards the opinion leader and make sure that, that we really stay on the edge. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and, and marketing obviously is looking at numbers, and it makes sure that, that uh, on the other hand, we're also covering um, the right silhouettes, that we're making sure that we're, uh, uh, that we're also working towards uh, the various markets that we have to cater to. Do you share a segmentation between the two, the two areas? Do you work on a customer segmentation together, or is it something that marketing creates and that you follow? How no, does we that work happen? on that together as well. It's a joint effort, and, uh, and obviously a design also brings in uh, the ideas and the thoughts that we have about the demography of our consumers uh, into the discussion, brings that to the table. And luckily, we're a very diverse design team as well, from uh, people from nations all over the world. And, uh, and hopefully, and that's also part of my job as a creative director, uh, to really make sure that uh, we do reflect our markets within the teams that we have uh, working on the, on the creative concepts. And they're part of the culture. They're also, the designers are part of the culture that we want to design to.